Dear friends, if we are honest with ourselves, we all know that the perfect family doesn't exist, nor does the perfect husband or the perfect wife. And let's not even talk about the perfect mother-in-law. <laughs> we all know that the family is a gift from God, a gift that allows us to grow as a human being. Large families in particular, in a culture that is so marked by egoism, are the beautiful school of solidarity and fraternal sharing. And these are the attitudes that do so much good for today's society. Dear families, don't ever forget this beautiful gift. Don't spoil it with petty fights where we simply bully the other to get our way. Selfishness just wears down the affection and doesn't allow the family to thrive. Darn it, Dave. How many times do I have to tell you? You forgot to take the garbage out again. Oh no! How could I forget? Oh wait, maybe it was because I'm a little busy working 12 hours a day and putting bread on the table. And you think managing these little rugrats all day isn't work? You ungrateful louse, how can you be so oblivious? Now kids, quiet down for crying out loud. I'm trying to listen to the Pope. Or are you going to continue to annoy me to death with this fascinating display of emotional intelligence? I would like to give you some practical advice. Develop the habit of always saying, excuse me, thank you, and sorry. Especially this last one. Don't let a day go by without having said it to your husband or to your wife. I'm sorry, dear. Because it is with this simple thing that you can build the family. Because it is with these simple gestures and reconciliation that we build up the family. Forgive me, dear. You know that I love you. I just lose sight sometimes of what really matters. <laughs>